the storm. Not on the ground very long, but it did cause a lot of damage. Eight minutes, Darren, that's all we had, eight minutes. This thing quickly spin, just spinned up and then spun up and then it was gone. But we wanted to give you a 3D visualization of this tornado as if you were walking right beside it as it marched through Northwest Arkansas. So here's the path from a bird's eye view, but let's go lower. Let's show you where the tornado started. There was a circulation that was kind of over I-49, Fulbright Expressway, but once it crossed the Fulbright Expressway, kind of near the target, went north, right at the Malco Theater. This is the Malco Theater. All of a sudden, this thing started to spin up. In fact, that first inflow that really started to wrap this thing up took out the glass on the front of the Razorback Cinema there on the north side of Fayetteville. Here's the parking lot, so it's charged right along the parking lot. Then it went north and east. It kind of hit that strip mall uh, where you've got uh, the Showguns, you've got the Smitty's Garage where we're along Joyce. You see the power line down and, and, and light poles down as well. This was an EF0. This whole time, I'm going to keep the timestamps up here. We're going to go minute by minute. And I also have the status of the tornado. This is all coming from the National Weather Service and the estimated wind speeds. Wind speeds are to pick up once it crossed Joyce and headed towards the Northwest Arkansas Mall. But then it went down that hill right into Johnson, knocked out a cell phone tower, and this really wrapped up for a second as it went down the hill. This is along Main Drive there. Johnson is just uh, next to the Golden Corral there as you're going from Main Drive to US-71. Then it went closer to US-71, getting close to uh, the Outback. This is the Brashears Furniture Center. You see lots of damage there. It started to weaken a little bit. We went back to EF-1 status. But there's the tornado. Then it crossed US 71, going right over the golf course with the Springdale Country Club, going right where Erica Thomas is this evening, Fairway Drive. It weakened just a touch, went back to a very strong EF 1 tornado, 94 miles per hour, and then things really ramped up. This thing quickly increased. In one minute, went from EF 1 to an EF 3, 143 miles per hour as it hit the George Elementary School. This is when the debris really started to go several thousand feet into the air, and it widened too, hitting that gymnasium, just completely toppling it. When the National Weather Service got to the elementary school, they said, hey, we got to update this. This has to be upgraded to an EF 3. Then it crossed over Turner and Powell went towards the Nilfisk plant, still an EF3, 143 miles per hour, 410 now, complete destruction there on the receiving end. But then as it went towards the airport, it started to quickly decrease. In one minute, it went back down to an EF1 status, hitting that airport anchor. You can see some of the damage there. And then Darren, it went one more uh, mile about northeast for another minute or so towards Emma Street, back down to EF0, and then this thing was gone. How many times do we get an EF3 tornado though? Well, here on the left, I've got Northwest Arkansas River Valley on the right. One of that probably is the first on our memory, 1996, hitting a big population center, hit Fort Smith. There, and we don't get these very often, but when these do and they hit big population centers, you get a lot of damage. We'll talk more about our forecast coming up. Okay, all right, Matt, thanks. We do have live team coverage where the heaviest damage reported. We begin with my partner, Eric Thomas, one of the hardest.